Frontier High School Marching Titans. The U.S. Army Air Corps did not accept African American pilots at all, separate and very unequal. However, in 1940, President Roosevelt ordered the Army Air Corps to build a unit for African American pilots at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. These pilots later became known as the 99th Fighter Squadron or the Tuskegee Airmen. had to overcome discrimination in the South so that they could fight an enemy overseas. Many saw this as fighting two wars at once, one for the acceptance and respect they longed for in their own country and the other against Nazism in Europe. to fight, they did so with brilliance and accuracy. After joining with three other black units, the group painted the tails and propellers of their planes red. Though the combined unit's official title was the 332nd Fighter Group, as their reputation grew for being some of the finest pilots in the air, they became known as simply the Red Tails.
time when the Allied forces were losing up to 65 bombers a day, the Red Tails flew over 15,000 combat missions and never lost a single bomber they escorted into battle. Not even one. With the help of the Red Tails, the Allied forces claimed victory on September 2nd, 1945. Desegregating the armed forces. This tribute to the Tuskegee Airmen is more than seven. Woo! 